Attempted rape, leaving Georgia Tech students on edge, taking place early this morning at apartments right across the street from the campus. The suspect, well, he's behind bars, but students still have security concerns. As Chris Hopper reports, management is now claiming it's taking action. Tonight, we're hearing those concerns from residents that it's just too easy to get into this apartment complex and have something happen like it did overnight. Well, tonight we've talked to the management company and they are addressing this issue. That's pretty terrifying. You don't want stuff like this to happen. Well, it's really scary and like I'm worried. Tonight, management at Square on 5th across from Georgia Tech is reacting to those concerns. In a message to residents posted on Facebook tonight, the complex says it's taking immediate steps to bolster its on-site safety and security procedures in the wake of this attempted rape. We're supposed to um, check all our buzz cards like as we go in, but we just kind of like hold the door open for someone as they walk behind us because usually like five people might walk in at once. This guy was not a student. Atlanta police say 22 year old Joshua Manns followed a female student into the building, then forced his way into her apartment. He tried to rip her clothes off before the girl's roommate scared him away. He was later arrested on campus and he's been in jail before. He was just released on sexual battery and stalking charges 48 hours ago. Tonight, the victim is okay, but students realize the time to be vigilant is now. I'm really careful about myself at night because I know stuff like this happens. I don't let people walk too close to me. And tonight, the management company says they haven't had an issue like this at this property since it opened in 2015. But as I said before, they're going to try to fix the problem here, fix any security issues they can. They're also going to remind residents to follow those security protocols that are already in place. Back to you. All right, Chris, thanks a lot.